Last week, there was this enormous bombshell dropped by the government. Uh, they finally admitted there was 100% core melt in Unit 1, possibly in Units 2 and 3. All these reassuring, soothing words mean nothing. 100% core melt. What stopped the reactor accident in the time was the sudden influx of seawater. If they didn't put that seawater in at the right moment, we would have lost northern Japan. That's how close we came to a national, worldwide tragedy. Okay, I just want to make sure people understand 100% core melt means what? It means that the core of uranium, which is 100 tons, uh, measuring about oh, 12 feet tall, is now basically a bowl of granola. Uh, granola with cream on it. That's what I it like looks granola. like. Wait, wait, this, explain this to me. It melted down into it this mess. It melted down and crumbled into this mess. There's right. nothing recognizable in the core. If you were to take a TV camera down there and photograph it, it's like a pile of splintered granola with cream. That's what it looks like. And so that whole time when people were saying, when some people were saying we have a meltdown and the government was saying, no, 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 no meltdown, it was a meltdown. It was a meltdown. 100% core melt. And what prevented the reactor from simply going out of control and exploding was the fact that they dumped seawater into the cores stopping the accident, and this is not in any textbook. No right. textbook says as a last-ditch measure, dump seawater to stop three simultaneous meltdowns. Okay, so it stopped the meltdown by because the water simply absorbed the heat and dissipated right. it, but the downside risk was the seawater then went back into the ocean and dissipated, and, and the radioactivity was spread the around. The problem is you have all this salt, you have all this radioactive water, and the Chinese and the Koreans have protested because mm. of the fact that they were dumping radioactive seawater into the ocean. Radioactive levels begin to soar, People were concerned about plant life, about seafood. It created a huge mess, and it's still going on. Realize that school children right now are going to be exposed to 20 times the level that an atomic worker is going to be exposed. This is so bad that one of the advisors of the prime minister quit. He quit in protest and said that I'm not going to let my children be exposed to 20 times the radiation of what an atomic worker would Okay, be. I want to go back. What would have happened if the seawater had not gone in? Then you would have had a breach of containment. That is, all this melted uranium would have plunged onto the floor, probably caused a steam explosion, a hydrogen gas explosion, blew the lid off the whole thing, and then you would have had Chernobyl. Three simultaneous Chernobyls. Raging cores with maybe 25% of the core vaporized and turning into dust particles and basically wiping out northern Japan as an area that can be habited. So we came close. We came very close, right. Did they know this at the time? They didn't even know how close it was. There was an argument between the utility and the government. The government said, uh, you know, damn the torpedoes, right. put in seawater. And the utility said, no, 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 we can salvage it. We they were trying to preserve it. their investment. They were trying to preserve their investment, even as it was a 100% core melt. They were saying it's salvageable, don't put seawater in. Now, some people have said that what also helped, helped preserve this was that the containment vessel itself was not breached in any significant way. Now we right? realize that there's partial breachment of one, maybe two containment vessels. In other words, radiation is still coming out. And we have this mystery, where is the radiation? Radiation coming right. from right. is coming from a breach of containment. It's leaking through cracks in the containment and melted holes. We now know there was a breach of containment. It did mm. not create a steam explosion, thank God, because they put seawater in time. But radiation, the molten uranium, leaked out.